John Woodman, founder and medical director of the Atlanta Fibroid Center. I wanted to address a topic that came up on our YouTube channel, Atlanta Fibroid Center, about the importance of either the size or the location, which is important or both, and why does that matter? Well, there are three main locations that a fibroid can be in the uterus. It can be underneath the lining in the very center of the uterus, up against the cavity. Those are called submucosal fibroids. They can be underneath the outer covering at the periphery of the uterus. Those are subserosal fibroids. In between, in the muscle, most of the uterus is made up of smooth muscle, and in between those two are the intermural fibroids. Now, submucosal fibroids being up against the uterine lining, as they grow, they will cause the heavy menstrual bleeding that a lot of women with fibroids suffer with. The ones on the outer part, the subserosal fibroids, they grow away from the uterus and press on things, whatever's next to them. If the, they're in the front of the uterus, they might press on the bladder to cause increased urinary frequency. Uh, if they're located more laterally, they'll press on pelvic nerves to cause pain or sciatica. If they're in the back of the uterus, they can even cause constipation or low in the uterus up against the cervix painful intercourse. So location is very important. In fact, it's probably the most important factor to determine whether a woman will have symptoms or not because you can have a large fibroid that's on the outer part of the uterus that might not cause any symptoms, but a much smaller fibroid located centrally will cause symptoms. So location is the most important, but clearly as fibroids grow, the bigger they are, the more likely they will cause some form of symptom depending on where they're located. The intramural fibroids being in between, as they grow, depending on which way they grow, if they grow outwardly, they behave more like subserosal fibroids and cause bulk symptoms. If they grow inwardly, they behave more like submucosal fibroids and cause more bleeding, or they can grow in both directions and cause both. So those are the issues involved with size and location.